What up, metalheads? Um, I have not posted in, I think, a week. It's been a long time. Uh, I hope you guys remembered that I didn't forget you guys. I've just been busy uh, with the whole move and everything, so I'm back in the city. And uh, so you're gonna see me in all kinds of different settings. As of right now, it's my car. Um, I'll be back to giving you guys videos, maybe uh, not the full five a week, but you know, expect two minimum, three to four max. Um, anyways, you guys have been requesting a shit ton of stuff while I was gone. Uh, Isaac's not here because Isaac didn't move with me, forgot to mention that, so. Um, so, Vladimir, you requested a lot of things for me to react to. Uh, I'll be on that, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Ellie Gallego, you requested that I do a Rush album, so I will get to, I'm actually really excited for that one. I will, I will get to that. Just let me uh, listen to this album that I'll review. Uh, it's going to be 2112, by the way. Uh, one of my favorite Rush album, so keep an eye out for that. I'm just gonna give it a few more listens. It's been a long time since I heard it, so let me listen to it and I will review that hopefully this week. But as of uh, today, I wanted to talk about Gore Guts um, from Wisdom to Hate. And I kind of want to do a little Gore Guts series, honestly, because Gore Guts is one of those bands that I feel has a really strong discography. Even their weakest albums are pretty solid. And they're really underrated, to be honest. You know, they're underground and you can hear it. That's something I really like. Uh, in this album from Wisdom to Hate, I absolutely love the orchestration of the songs, the structures, the, uh, uh, what am I looking for? The uh, context of what everything is in the, you know the context of the riffs it's not as melodic um but this is definitely my second favorite underneath gore guts considered dead album uh, as you guys know when I, that's my all-time favorite gore guts album but this one uh i like how raw it sounds how uh you know it sounds so low tech so live garage bandy it has this garage bandy kind of feel to it uh and i like it you know a lot of times it, in the the first song, uh, I forget what, it, inverted. The first song, it, you know that guitar, whatever the hell it is, riff, I guess, where it sounds like a, a rusty like wrench being screwed in like a, a pattern. I hope you guys know if that makes any sense at all. Uh, the inverted guitar riff. When I first heard the album, I didn't even know that was a guitar riff. When I saw Luke LeMay play that uh, on a video, I was like, holy crap, that's a guitar? It, it the thing is it sounds like it's out of tune, but it's not it's actually in tune with the music and it actually sounds good It works uh, My favorite song off of the album would have to be uh, fr uh, From wisdom to hate I absolutely Love that the drum work the drum work on this album is probably best uh, From any Gorgots album. I've heard uh, even better than their later stuff the uh, the Platy's Dust One and the Colored Sands and so on so on. Uh, Obscura also has some really good drum work, but I feel like this album kills it when it comes to drum work. Yeah, I like how how really low tech this sounds, and I like how so unprocessed it sounds. It almost sounds so unprofessional, but in a good way, uh, quality wise, it sounds really unprofessional. Musically, this is beautifully orchestrated music, like I said. I mean, you could clearly see his classical inspirations really in all of his work. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what do you guys think of a Gorgut's discography review like I did with Death? You know, I remember Death Week, I did, did their whole uh, discography just because they're su Death is such a legendary band. And I feel like Gorgut's is also a legendary band. I mean, they're kind of my uh, unsung heroes, to be honest. I would give From Wisdom to Hate a solid 8 out of... Uh, 10. I, wow, I totally forgot that number. Anyways, um, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, what you guys think. Should I do a, a Gorgut's discography series, week, whatever? Also, don't forget, I am getting to the request, especially that Rush review. I'm excited for that one. Uh, and those 
reaction videos to uh, Vladimir Froze, you recommended those songs that I've never heard before, and you've actually recommended one that Narcissistic Funeral one was the best song I've ever heard uh, on this channel. So I will be getting to your reactions uh, pretty soon. Do look to that or look out for that. Wow. So yeah. And I'll, how do you guys like my haircut? <laughs> now nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grow it out, do something different. Uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, go listen to some awesome metal. Do something, okay? Do something metal, guys. You just do it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna listen to uh, 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 what's it called? 2112 by Rush. Listen to that whole album a few times and review it. One of my personal favorites by them. So, see you guys later.